Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. You never know what to expect when you come to the beach. Today they're filming Creed 3 right here on Venice Beach, California. I got to the beach a little late and they were filming already right here in the heart of Venice, Muscle Beach, actually at the Muscle Pit and they had a huge promotional picture up right here. It says Battle for Los Angeles, heavyweight championship Adonis Creek versus Anderson Dame, live at the Dodger Stadium September 1st. This is a pretty big production and they're setting it up right here at the gymnastic area at the beach. There you get it, director chair, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, that's his chair and the script is right next to him. He's not only the star in the movie, he's also directing and that's him. I guess he's been in so many movies, he knows exactly what to do. And I was standing the whole time next to this lady here and I didn't recognize her. This is two-time Grammy Award winner and Oscar winner, Jennifer Hudson. And she's here to take a picture with Michael. In 2004, she was a finalist on the third season of American Idol and she plays play seven. But in 2006, she did the movie Dream Girl and that's how she became really famous. And here she's taking a picture with Michael. There's no way you can just walk up to him and take a picture. But I guess if you're an Oscar winner, they know you. So she had a chance to take a picture. Even though Creed is just a spin-off of Rocky, but it's been really successful the past two movies. So uh, that's why Warner Brothers decided to do a part three. And he's been so successful as well in many other movies. And that's why he's directing. And off she goes, Jennifer Hudson. And here we see Adonis Creed's opponent for the first time, Anderson Dane, played by Jonathan Mayers. And here you can see him getting oiled up so it looks more dramatic when he's sweating. And of course, for playing his opponent, he has to be in pretty good shape. Look at him, he's all ripped. Just like in Rocky, he's climbing up the ropes. One more time. Ugh. And it must be really exhausting because he's been doing some other exercise before. Now they're gonna do a different camera angle or maybe the same angle, but they have to do it again because they do close-up shots. So every time he climbs up the rope, he's getting more tired and more tired. Look at him. He has a hard time getting up right now, but of course I understand. He's been working out all day and then he has to perform like this too. Ah. That's it. They really don't give him a lot of time to rest. And now he's doing it one more time. Climbing up on one rope only. But like I said, he's getting tired. He's getting tired. Come on, one more time. Ugh. What is their job? They're just sitting in a chair the whole time here. One more time, a different angle. Look at all those people walking by in the background. They have no idea that they're gonna be in the Creed 3 movie. Look at all those people are involved in the movie. I don't even know what they all do. What is their jobs? Unbelievable. And those are not even extras. Those are paid people. They have some kind of a responsibility in the movie. I guess the director has an assistant director and the director's assistant's assistant has another assistant and he needs somebody to bring him some water and that assistant needs another assistant. So I guess that's what the people do. I don't know. 
From what I heard, they spend about $60,000 filming each day. Maybe that's not a lot of money to them if they made a $175 million profit on the first Creed. What I really liked in Creed 2 is when they brought back Bridget Nielsen and Ivan Drago. I must break you. What? Did Michael just wave at GIV? There's just little known about the story in Creed number three, but the pro boxer Don T. Wilder pitched himself to play the son of Mr. T, Clever Lang, character from Rocky III. Don't pity the fool. All those people you see standing around here, those are all extras, they all get paid. He's getting oiled up one more time, even though he's in great top shape, but nothing compared to Mr. T. I remember when he looked in the camera, you were scared looking at him. But my favorite was always Ivan Drago. Now you can see how often they have to do a retake. And he's been working out all day. He's getting more tired. Just imagine Sylvester Stallone in Rocky III when he's working out, how many times they have to film this and how tired he was doing it. Every day filming and working out. That's definitely not an easy job. And here is the assistant's assistant. He's given him a jacket to put on. That's his job, give him the jacket. I'm not sure what Michael is carrying as his hand, but it looks like it's like a digital screen so you can see what they were filming. Here's another assisting bring him water and he's getting oiled up for the fifth time. So he's looking shiny. Camera ready, action. And now he's walking towards the bar, pulling himself up. And that's really not easy to do. Now a dramatic close-up when he's hitting the sand. Eh, eh. I don't know if it's part of the movie, but it seems like he's thanking him for his good performance. doesn't want to be a movie star. I remember when I came to the United States 30 years ago and I was ready to conquer Hollywood and there's like 50 other Germans and from Switzerland, Spain, everybody wanted to be in the movie industry. Most of the people are not even here anymore. And there are thousands and thousands of other people that gave up. Now they're doing a the scene on the beach. Is Stallone gonna be in that movie? I don't know. Look at all those trucks. Now they gotta move everything on the beach and that's not easy to carry everything in the sand. It takes forever to set up a scene here. And this is the very beach where I was selling drinks 30 years ago. Cold Diet Coke, water, ice cream sandwiches, big stick fudge sickles, cold drinks, cold drinks.
Just imagine you want to work out with that big tire. How are you going to bring that tire to the beach if you don't have a truck? Keep looking at the lifeguard station. This is incredible. This is exactly where Arnold Schwarzenegger came to hang out on the beach to get a nice beautiful tan when he worked out on Venice Beach. This is incredible. It was right here on this beach. Apollo Creek and Sylvester Stallone were running right there at the breakwater. And I think he's gonna be running right here on this beach. So I think he's gonna be running on the beach with a parachute behind him to slow him down. And he's gonna work out really hard. First they're testing out the little dolly with a steady cam and the gimbal right here. See, he's not shaking like me. I wish I would have been here for the Rocky movie. This time they're shooting from two different directions. And action. See, they always come up with some new ideas. Now he's running with a parachute, so it's more resistant for him to run. That's where Rocky was running on the beach, but he didn't have a parachute. Go! Go! You can do it! You can do it! Yeah, come on! Yeah, he did it! <sighs> See how great it is to do a movie? Now we get to walk in the sand right next to the ocean, talk a little bit, the sunshine is there, and you're making a movie. And you know what? GIV is making a movie of the movie. I'm on the beach too. We love LA. We love California. And one more take, just to have an extra one, but it looks like he's not making that one. Maybe they have to do another one. And another one. Nope. One more try. I don't know if it's part of the movie, but he's getting really frustrated. Yes, and now he got it. He's running, he's running really fast and faster, faster, and he's running into the sunset. Now they don't even have enough time to do the scene with the big tire where he hits it with the hammer, but sun is going down. It was a successful day, I guess, and that was it. They brought enough clothes to wear for him. And this is where all the extras hang out. They can eat there and they sit down and relax while they're filming other scenes. I remember back then you could have make $40 a day being an extra and you got free food. They always had good catering though. Well, my friends, another beautiful day comes to an end right here in Venice Beach, California of the filming of Creed number three. I can't believe it. Look at all those people for one movie. I'm like a producer, writer, actor. I do everything. Editing. I'm a one-man band. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and maybe you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Rocky!